hello guys welcome back to the channel and this lab is just recently updated and because of that it's not properly configured and i saw most of you guys facing the issue on the different tasks so i request you please watch the video carefully because i'm going to explain each and every point in detail if you miss a one single point then you might face an unnecessary error on the particular task so first of all just log in with your credentials and once you're done with that just simply come back over here click on the checkbox and then click on agree and continue now just simply wait and just simply activate your cloud shell it will take a couple of seconds so just simply wait for that now click on continue now in the description box of this video i will share both the commands so just simply copy both the command like this way come back over here wait for a second click on this got it now just simply run the command over here like this way hit enter and then just simply click on this authorize now just simply wait for this command get execute and it's done now once you're done with this command now what you do here just simply search for the web and here you can see web security scanner just simply open this thing new tab come back over here and then click on this overview over here now just simply wait and if you're asking for your choose your project id so just simply choose your project id like this way and then click on the settings over here now just simply wait now click on this continuous exports over here and then click on this create now for the name come back to the lab instructions and click on the task number one and from here just simply scroll down and from the point number 10 you can see this name so just simply copy this name carefully and make sure that you do not copy any extra space and do not copy this last full stop just simply copy like this come back over here and just simply paste over here now copy the description as well make sure that you have to paste the description in that so just simply copy like this way come back over here and just simply paste over here and make sure that there is no dot in the last just make sure of that now just simply click on the select and just simply choose your project id like this way it's done now just simply click over here and just simply choose your topic and if you're not able to find the topic id over here no need to worry just simply refresh the page and then you are able to find it now just simply click on the save and now just simply wait for this task get complete meanwhile what you can do just simply come back over here scroll down and from the point number 17 just simply copy this code just simply copy like this come back over here and as you can see it's done now just simply come back to the dashboard and just simply run the command over here like this way hit enter wait for a second And it's done now what you do now here just me search for the pops up and here you can see subscription just simply open this thing new tab come back over here wait for a couple of seconds now and then click on this link and then click on this messages and then click on this checkbox like this way and then click on this pool now most of you guys facing the issue over here and if you are not able to find the message over here no need to worry about that because as you can see on my first time i was able to get a message over here but if you just simply come back to the lab instructions and if you just simply scroll down over here and from this note you can see you may have to click on the pull button couple of times to see the message over here so if you're not able to get a message on your first time no need to worry about that just keep hitting on the pull button and until and unless you get a message over here then only move forward with the other task otherwise you will not get a score on the next task just make sure of that thing once you get 20 out of 20 on the task number one then only move forward with the next task just simply wait and watch and as you can see i got a green tick over here then only just simply move forward with the task number two now task number two is very easy just simply scroll down then copy the first command come back to your dashboard and just simply run the command over here like this way now again just simply scroll down then copy the second code come back over here paste hit enter now copy the third come back over here and just simply wait and run the third code as well now just simply scroll down now copy the fifth command copy like this come back over here paste hit enter now just simply scroll down now for this command copy like this way come back over here and before that let me increase the text size for you okay 
now if i just simply run this command if i just simply come back over here and if i just simply run over here and as you can see i'm getting a big query error over here so no need to worry about that if you just simply come back over here and click on this check my progress and if you are able to get a green tick over here then you are very lucky and if you are not able to get the green tick over here so no need to worry about that we have to just simply wait for 10 plus more minutes to get a green tick over here so you can do one thing you can just simply continue the next task of this lab okay so as you can see i'm getting a, this kind of error one when i tried this lab before but on my first time i was able to get a green tick over here so no need to worry about that just simply continue with the next task so now what you do we have to just simply create a bucket so before that just me copy this name carefully copy like this way and make sure that you do not copy this last full top just me copy like this come back over here now here just me search for the bucket open this thing new tab come back over here wait for a second and then click on this create now i request you please pay attention over here because this is very important part just me paste the name over here for your bucket and then click on this continue and for the location type just simply choose a region and from the lab instruction page just simply choose a region for me the given region is us central one so i'm going to choose that for you it might be different so you can just simply continue with that now click on this continue like this way now you don't have to make any other changes just simply scroll down and then click on this create like this way just simply wait and then click on this confirm like this way now just simply wait and your bucket is created now just simply come back to your settings and then click on this findings over here now click on this three dot and then click on this exports over here and from here just simply choose your cloud storage bucket like this way now just simply choose your project id as we done previously is done now click on this browse and just simply choose the bucket which you just created now for the file name come back to the lab instructions just simply scroll down and from the point number 22 just simply copy this name carefully copy like this come back over here and just simply paste over here and then click on the select like this way now here please pay attention at the export criteria as you can see format just simply choose json l like this way make sure that you have to choose this format now for the time range just let me scroll down and just let me choose the all time like this way now no need to make any other changes make sure your page must look like this if it's so then click on this export now i request you please be on the page until and unless you get a green tick over here like this way And it's done now what you do now here just me search for the big query open this thing new tab come back over here just simply wait click on this done now click on this add over here and then choose a google cloud storage bucket like this way now here you can see just simply choose your browse and then just simply choose your bucket which you just created now just simply wait and then choose your file like this way and then click on the select like this now as a file format just simply choose a JSONL like this way and now for the data set just simply click over here and from here just simply choose your data set like this now for the table come back over here scroll down a little bit and from here you can see just simply copy this table name come back over here and just simply paste over here now click on the checkbox for auto detect as a schema and then click on this create now just simply wait and it's done now just simply click on this untitled over here now if you just simply click over here and here you are able to find the table over here which just created now what you do just let me scroll down and from here just let me copy this code copy like this come back over here and just let me run this query over here until once you get a green tick over here now click on this run and you are able to get this kind of output one more thing guys if you just let me come back over here and if you just let me scroll down and if you are able to click on this check my progress and if you are able to get a green tick over here that's a very good and if you are not able to get a green tick over on the task number two on last task no need to worry just simply wait and you will get a green tick on this task as well now if you just let me scroll up and if you just simply run this code now if i just let me come back over here and if I just simply run this code over here, as you can see previously, I was getting an error over here after running this code. Now, if I just simply run this code over here, now let's see. As you can see, I was able to find a table over here. As you can see, I'm not getting a full table, but if I just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress, let's see, I was able to get a green tick over here or not.
as you can see i was able to get a green tick over here but if you're not able to get a green tick on this task no need to worry just simply wait come back over here rerun this command again and again and once you get a table over here like this way and you will get a big table as they mentioned in the lab page like this one and once you get a green tick and table over here then you will get a full score on this task without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubt please do let me in the comment section i know this lab is little bit tricky but i request you please watch the video carefully and you will get a full score for sure and that's it for this video if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys